Drubind Drew who <laughs> good evening. You Drew Houston is saying if you have a dream, you can spend a lifetime studying, planning, and getting ready for it. What you should be doing is getting started, and that is a thing, right? Isn't it? That most of us don't know how to get started. Some of us don't know how to finish something and others don't know how to maintain their motivation across a project or a certain situation, a challenge they are facing. And that is what we are talking today about. By way of introduction, my name is Andreas from Asia Mind Dynamics. And if you are listening in here later on, I'm going to share with you about the three driving forces in our life that makes us or breaks us in the pursuit of our projects and our successes. All right, but before we get started, of course, we gotta listen to our intro video, yay! Whoops, I'm back, I didn't know that I was, okay. Uh, bloopers everywhere every now and then and I'm absolutely okay with, with it you don't even know how much how much my life is all about bloopers but it's good to see you here because today I will share with you something that I think is actually quite interesting and has a lot about my own story that caused me to, to nearly mess up my own life and it was about the discovery I had coming from NLP of course that helped me quite a lot in getting to certain breakthroughs that I need to have of course but hey as usual of course of course of course of course you can always ask your questions see lots of bloopers today ask your questions hey you wear red yes so it's a new shirt that I bought okay what's wrong with wearing red is it okay to wear red I hope it look good in red you know the color behind me in yellow and the sofa you do know also in red of course you know so again of course ask your questions participate 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 as you do already here already anyway and as the usual stuff of course give us some likes give us some hugs give us some hearts all that needs to for me to feel good about what I'm doing here right of course and click likes as many times as you want because I think it's a great show you never seen before yes you don't know red is actually my favorite color so you don't know that yet but hey red and black of course <laughs> Well, whatever you're doing right now, I really appreciate that you are here, Alex, Sue, and hopefully other people are joining us at a later stage. I want to talk to do to today about something very excited because exciting because some people can never get started on something and it has nothing or not necessarily something to do with being in the comfort zone and not being able to break out or the lab profile pattern that you are aware of, of course. I'm going to share with you a little bit afterwards no it might be some patterns deep within us that are much much more significant but along that line of course as you do already please tag some people bring them into the class into the class yeah, into this video so we can have more people watching us currently it's yes yeah, three people say hello the third person who is not yet visible say hello so i do know who you are where you're from if you're coming from overseas it would be really really great to have a, it's an engaging session as usual and you guys hey if you are sitting somewhere around people of course lower the volume or put your earphones on that would be wonderful if you have dinner just keep eating i just keep blabbering it's also okay and if you are driving your car stay safe stay safe stay sound 
Lower the volume, don't get distracted by traffic and be happy. Of course, I'm not sure if it's raining right now in KL. Yesterday it was, I think the day before yesterday, it was really, really, really raining happily. So I want you to be safe, of course. You've got to be safe in everything we are doing. And of course, sharing is caring, as I mentioned. So guys, the ladies and gentlemen, are we cool? Can we get started, okay? Because the topic is really about... The topic is really about what does it take for us to get started. Yes, I know it's it's okay. <laughs> um, thanks, thanks. There was my great, wonderful, darling wife just sharing something with me, and it's okay. Whatever you can see, I'm all right. I'm okay. You are okay. Okay, that you are be here. Do you know people, or have you ever had a challenge of getting started in something? Don't say rain, I'm leaving. <laughs> no, I'm not saying rain, okay? The sun is going to shine and you are in the mountains or in the hills. Alex, of course. <laughs> it's, not, it's not that when I say rain, that leaves pouring cats and dogs, okay? I would be the master of the universe. I would love to be. And sometimes, but hey, I would mess up quite a bit as well. But yeah, I love that comment. Okay, <laughs> let me give you, you give, let me give you a like for that. Yay! <laughs> and also, of course, Sue. Yeah, I wear red. You gotta get a like from me as well. Of course, you know. So, have you ever had in a situation when you wanted to get started, didn't know how to get started, and you was, you, 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 try to get started, did everything to get out of it, and it just didn't work and you had no idea what happened and you actually might have thought you know you're on your right track and put in doing something running a great project preparing yourself so i want to share with you something that actually comes directly from our nlp master class because i think i think it's really really important to share this with the world so to speak because it's really really important so it's not when you get stuck sometimes in a project it is not about procrastinating it is not necessarily about whoa i want to be perfect and that's why i can't get started until i have that inner certainty inner feeling of i am perfect it is not about the option patterns of having too many choices because they can get started it is not necessarily even about being too reactive no let me share with you something when it was the year 2014 around 2014 was a good year for me because i i loved well, I love every single year, but it was a year when I decided to get more involved with the online world. Okay, we had some videos early already online available in YouTube some, some long time ago or before 2010 videos, testimonials of participants. But then I thought like for a couple of years, I didn't do much. And it was 2014 when I... <clears throat> actually way earlier let me put this away for a moment um it was about even 2010 already i was checking out some sometimes around 2010 <clears throat> i discovered an nrp trainer a wonderful nrp trainer in the uk 2010 2011 and i signed up for his email broadcasting and i got <coughs> lots of emails all the time from him and i loved it and of course, as I felt good about this guy, <clears throat> his style, I searched through his website and I found out that every now and then he promoted certain products. So Natural and I, we ordered products from him. DVDs were very common at that time as well. And we studied it. That was more or less first tapping into ordering stuff from overseas. It was always very exciting. <clears throat> very exciting. And and then, and then the package arrives and you open it up and you put it into our speaker and you listened to it. And I believe you can share that experience with me as well. I believe you have ordered, um, Wasu or Alex, whoever is here right now, you have ordered stuff online. And when it arrived, you were so happy, so excited opening it up and putting in a DVD maybe in that player and it felt so good. And then you went on with your life. So that was happening. But then 2014 slash 2015, something, something else came actually up. And I wanted 
I wanted to to get more involved into email marketing and by chance I came by chance I came across a guy I don't hundred percent know that guy anymore by name it was a coaching newsletter again and this guy sent a lot of newsletters out and every now and then at that time he also organized some webinars so I was that was my first experience with webinars way back in 2014 and I I actually wanted to bring that notepad to you and showed it to you uh, of those of you who are listening right now I took tedious notes it was really great and I started to think about followed his instructions of how do I market myself how do I break my messages into shorter 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 scripts overall together with BNI of course it was very very powerful to me and I took notes and I took notes and I took notes and I took tons of notes and I loved it it was really guys good stuff so I really 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 enjoyed that learning and at that point of time, I started to get the idea, I want to get more online. So I had no idea, aside of the videos, it was, I was starting to do some videos. I had some interviews with participants of ours, testimonials, then I put it online into YouTube. Not very engaged at that point of time with, with, with uh, Facebook. And my blog that I had a long time back, hey, do you know? I had a blog actually starting off way back in, I think about 2001 to 2005 slash 6. Then I stopped for a while. Well, actually, it's definitely or 8, you know. And then I stopped it for two years, three years, and I started again. You know, I, And it's still existing, actually. Now, maybe one day I actually go back into the blocking environment. So I learned a lot and then I was studying them more. So I thought by myself, and that's all about the story of not getting started because I couldn't get started. I studied and then I came across somebody else. And I believe you are in a similar situation sometimes. Hey, whoever watches right now, yeah, you are a blocker too. But have you ever had a situation when you studied a lot and you couldn't get started? And you started to learn more and you thought you need more information, more knowledge, more information, more knowledge. Hey, maybe even more training. Give me a yes if you had this experience. Because I think I'm not the only one in the world who has got this experience, you know. That you are like me overall, studying and watching and reading and studying and researching information, never really getting ready. Did it happen to you as well, Sue, when you were doing it before or... Alex, if you are still here, I don't know if you are still here. Let me know if something something like this happened to you as well. That you couldn't get started on something and it was terrible. And then I came, because I started to research, I came across another guy. I'm not sure if you know this guy. This guy is an online marketer, a really great guy. He comes actually, yeah, so thanks. Thanks for your honesty. You might want to listen to this guy as well. Check him out, you know. His name is Eben Pagan. Eben Pagan, E-B-E-N, and Pagan, like P-A-G-A-N. He actually comes from the dating zine. He was very engaged in, in dating courses, helping guys, specifically guys, on getting, well, getting in contact with girls, picking them up, pick up artists, and so on and so on. But he moved on to online marketing. Great guy. And I got lots of courses from him, and I still studied those courses again and again I took notes and notes and some more notes you know and I took more courses from other people on how do you hold the camera and how do you take care of the lighting and I learned good stuff some stuff I still use nowadays when I when I when I do my video recording for example some stuff I still utilize from that stuff that I learned at a point of time but I realized I couldn't get started I realized I studied some more, more notes. Not sure I came up as well. At that point of time, I thought like I got to create courses. It was about 2014, 2015. And not sure my darling wife, she said like, hey, when are you getting started? I hear that story over and over and over again. And I couldn't get started. You know? And then I was getting, and then I thought and talked about well, marketing sites, membership sites, how to create a membership site. And I paddled actually in something which is called Optimized Press, still existing at that point of time. But again, I paddled in it, I studied it, I took courses around it, didn't get started. Took some more notes. So it was 
It's a good site overall, but I couldn't get a hang around it. I got stuck sometimes, great service at that point of time from them. I haven't been in touch with them for years. I still have to book them, you know. Huh. Yes, you. it's always good to be about, to have somebody telling you that you are perfectionist. You got to listen to some of my earlier videos too, when I talk about perfectionism. I'm not 100% sure if you're really the 100% perfectionist. So, but yeah, it has more to do on this one overall, okay? But again, you know, I repeated the cycle of studying, 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 re recognizing my cycle of that I couldn't get started was huge overall. But the dream was inside me to still create that membership site. And I'm not talking too much about this in a moment. I just wanted to tell you my own stories around, you know, that I just simply couldn't get started overall. And recognizing that cycle. And I again got to thank to Nacho at that point of time, who really kicked my backside every now and then, saying like, oh, I heard that last month. I heard that last year already. You're still talking about creating a membership site. You're still stuck there. And that was like pushing me forward, pushing me forward. And I, I thought like, I have to, I have to do something about it. So what are the reasons why we are doing it? Has it something to do with the barriers in our mind? Is it related to mental programs? It can be related to mental programs. Of course, it's possible, you know, there are different types, you know, but people, um, People are saying, like, for example, okay, sometimes it's a fear about um, stepping out of your comfort zone into the big unknown. Hey, I had the notes. I had the knowledge. I was even engaged in many, many, many Facebook groups, posting some of the videos that I posted, and I got good feedback, you know. That was really, really good stuff as well, but I didn't go closer to creating more courses, and I... I thought like, hey, it's like my to-do list. I thought like to-do list disappear by itself. So I'm filling up a to-do list and I think like, maybe I don't need to look at the to-do list and do it by itself and blah, 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 whatever. So I hope, hey, the courses that I have to create to create a membership site will definitely along that line suddenly coming down, manifesting themselves into the world and I have courses running. It doesn't work like that as well. <laughs> that was my naivety, you know. So it was, I had the knowledge. I knew how to operate a camera. I knew how to take care of lighting. I knew, I bought the stuff, my microphones, my videos, my, my cameras. I got all that stuff, you know. I do know how to handle that. And I really got good at it. And it's really fantastic, you know. But I didn't get started. So it's not necessarily stepping out of the comfort zone into the unknown because I had that stuff. I knew what to do. At that point of time, even I started to work with Udemy. Udemy.com is a great program as well. I've got two programs running in Udemy, which are quite, of, quite nice, quite successful. Even thousands of students watch that videos on, U, on Udemy. So I had the ability to do it. It was, I think, 2016 or so when I started with Udemy. But still... It was a course, but no membership side again. Has it something to do with mental programs? Remember the patterns in lab profile, language and behavior profile. Can we get started on something? We need more information, more information, more information. Be reactive. I don't see myself as a reactive person. Every now and then, yeah, I might be very reactive. I really don't want to do something and just such as life, but hey, Sometimes I just don't want to do, and that's my purposeful decision overall. I don't think I'm that reactive, okay? So I see myself as a middle. I'm not too proactive as well, but I'm somewhat in the middle. So the challenge was again, of course, you know, has it something to do with the mental program of being too reactive? No, I don't think so. So what really, really happened was, and hey, it was really actually happening. Where's my program? Okay. I didn't print out everything I thought. Hmm, I thought, okay, um, doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> it has something to do with something that we in NLP, in the master practitioner, it is called prime concerns. Prime concerns is different from prime directives in, the, in timeline therapy, prime concerns. And that is the inner energy that we do have within ourselves in getting started on something and maintaining something or in completing certain stuff. So I think it will be very interesting what I'm sharing with you in just a moment. Let me just see if I have some of the paper. I thought I have some paper with me. <laughs> 
I don't have the paper. Doesn't matter. I do know my stuff, okay? <laughs> and so it has something to do with starting, with changing or maintaining or with, 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 with it's, it's okay. It's okay. That's why I can manage it. <laughs> One day, I think I gotta bring that try in front of the camera as well to, to have her say hello to everybody because I can talk. I can talk to her across the room. I still see her waving sometimes. <laughs> I don't know. It gives me the hearts right now. Or the balloons. Okay, is that Natra or is that Sue? <laughs> Please tell me who sends the balloons right now. I love you guys too. <laughs> Okay, starting. You know people, these are the three energy flows within us. Three energy flows of things that help us to either get started on something and changing or maintaining or in completing something. And it comes actually from the Indian methodology. Some of the, you guys, if you're watching it later and if you know the prime concerns, you don't know the prime concerns, but it has something to do with the Indian methodologies of that we are starting energy, changing, maintaining energy, and completing an energy. And they are saying, when client is coming to you, Sue, they might be really, really good in one of those areas, either in starting and changing slash maintaining or in completing. But sometimes they are so good in one area, they're neglecting another area, or they are really bad in another area. So we are all good in one of those areas. But we really are terrible in another area. And how do we... And it, is, it has nothing necessarily to do with presenting problems. So a client comes to you, for example. I'm not doing it all the time. A client comes to you and talks about, for you, for you right now, maybe weight loss. And they are smoking. And they are procrastinating. And they are maybe always late for meetings. And they are biting fingernails. They got lots of presenting issues. But all those issues might be linked at the deepest level of the unconscious mind. Something unspeakable, something they are not even aware of, related to the thing called prime concerns. And if you are working on those prime concerns, if you are crapping them, and I give you two or three tips of how you are crapping them, and prime concerns is something on how to crap those limitations, challenges, deep unconscious issues, blockages, energy blockages. How do you do it linguistically? But you can do it via a timeline at one level or you can do it via the famous parts integration. So a client might be really, might be overcompensating in one area. And if they are overcompensating in one area, they might be really bad in another area. So, for example, the person might be really good in starting something, but really bad in changing or maintaining, or really bad in completing. Or some person might be good in, really good in maintaining and changing, but has a hard time starting, also possible, or a hard time completing certain stuff. Or some people are really good in completing, but not good in starting or maintaining. That is a positive part. Now, let's talk about people, for example, who are only good in starting, but not in changing or maintaining or completing. These are people who are jumping, and that was me. I tell you honestly, I think it was really, really me. I was starting into many different things regarding online marketing, regarding projects, and regarding anything you put your mind to. You're starting many things. But starting doesn't mean that you are maintaining. You are excited about it, you are, but you are not ready for, to maintain it. Let me know if you understand what I'm trying to say here right now. So you're starting many things and you have that initial rush of energy. It moves you forward. And you're studying and you're starting and you're talking about it. And some people who are really good in starting never enter the next stage of really able to execute a project they're just good in theory just blabbering around but never really executing the project because they're not able to move over yay sue good to hear that you are with me on this one and never able to move over to something else to something else where the energy might be less and i spoke about an earlier facebook live on this one where the energy is less and they start to have to maintain to implement the routine and some people are really really good at it let me talk about the other people the ones who can't complete certain stuff 
So here are the people who are working on a project and it never finishes. Do you know that these are people who can juggle 10 different things and they are able to do, 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 do. It's everything they are doing is 90% completed. But and this might be this related also to the lab profile pattern, perceivably, but maybe not. It's an exploration around it. And 90% completed with a project, with something they get started, and then they can't finish it. And it's somewhere in the bookshelf, and it's in the back of the mind, and it's still no, no it needs to happen. There was a phase in my online life as well, you know, when Natural and I we were training a great company. You are good in starting a project. That's good to hear, but let's listen to the rest of what I'm saying. And maybe you can relate to this one as well. Um, we were training a company and we had we were really video recording them. It was allowed and I was able to use those video recordings and uh, to pre prepare it by myself. It was possible. I completed one, but not two others. And this, even this one that I completed. <laughs> it was a hard time for me to get started because it took me years to get started, to complete it, years. I was like, I delivered it to the client and I wanted to edit it on my terms. I wanted to edit it according to my own perfectionism, maybe to my own thinking. But it was such a hard work and I still, years later, have that final two projects on my laptop. I don't think I'll ever finish it because that's the awareness to create that you are then saying, I said to myself, let go, don't complete it anymore. It's okay, I've got it. only the three out of three, I only finished one, but it's about moving on. It's about recognizing the patterns too. It's about recognizing what's holding me back and not about chuckling and many projects in my mind and using mental energy. That is wasted on something else. And it was really good. Once I let go of it, I felt free. Completing, not being able to complete. And it's a hardcore stuff as well. There might be some people in your training, for example, and so they're starting very excitingly on weight loss. But they can never complete it. They never finish it up. They stop doing it and they just move on and sabotage themselves. Sometimes that was even sabotage. Okay, Some people... Have a problem completing something. Have you ever realized, oh, so that is terrible. <laughs> We're going to talk about this, okay? Um, some people are not able to let go of relationships. They might be in a relationship, but don't know how to get started on something or how to complete something. And they are let it can't let go can't complete it and know it's a terrible relationship but they are so comfortable in it they know the problem they know the challenges they hate it maybe but they can't get out of it or some people who got over a relationship bad breakup and they can't let go of that relationship in their mind they're continuously moving back into that relationship talking about it never can move on never be able to complete letting go of something put a stop to something in that long time that is also something on problems in completing something so i'm no longer talking about starting something now i'm talking about completion of something there are people who are in university they are finished with everything, all the assignments, all the exams, but no, they can't complete the university. Just before they are finishing, they're starting a new course. They may become, might become a PhD, next career ladder, might become a professor, but never really finishing something, never getting out of the university and getting into the job market or becoming an entrepreneur. People who are, able, who are not able to complete something, it's really tough. That is for you maybe as well. Starting writing a book since 2008 too, and stop at last chapter and never be able to finish it. So you need to be aware of that one. Once you become aware of it, let's talk about it at a later stage. But it's really about taking your yourself setting down and just putting it, for example, into a recording and just write it, record it, and then do it by your subtitles, titles, make it happen. Transcript software nowadays really, really good. So you can make that happen as well by yourself as well. So if you want, we can work on that one. People are changing and maintaining. They're hard time changing and maintaining. 
So they are again also maybe in a relationship, don't exactly know how to make the changes in the relationship. And they are not good at maintaining. They are starting to sabotage themselves. They are not good at moving on to something else. They know they might not be happy in that profession that they're in right now, in the job, but they are never able to stop that relationship and move out of it. So they can't also complete their insight and maintaining something. And they're never able to, they are in the relationship, they are in the job and it keeps going and going and going. And they're okay with it, but they do know it's not good for them. They don't know how to make the changes overall. It's not about completing for them, okay? Some people can't complete, putting a stop, letting go. That's what you are at right now. You have nearly finished something, but you don't know how to finish it overall, okay? Changing and maintaining is just inside that stuff that are people who are maybe have finished something, but know they are need to re-edit it, restart it, rewrite something, reshuffle something, and they don't know how to do that. So that's the third pattern. Once I realized that, what was wrong with me at that point of time, that was helping me to finally getting started in my membership side because it is really about so that is the awareness you need to create and then realizing creating a goal plan it's still working in me but really 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 creating goals making it happen starting to work on something and even if it's for you just a sentence or two hey sean good to see you looking forward to seeing you tomorrow okay tomorrow morning so it is really about getting started on something and finishing it off, knowing what it takes to make it happen. It's the most important part. Because if you are not aware of those three energy forces within yourself that are working against you. So again, let me summarize it once again. Some people are really good in starting. Some people are really good in changing and maintaining. Some people are really good in completing something. But if you are overcompensating and you're not balanced out in those three forces, energy flows within yourself that in NLP we are calling prime concerns. You're overcompensating and starting, you're starting many things, but you don't know how to move over to completion. It's hard for you to get started overall. You're, you're having a hard time to get started. You're good in theory, but nothing else. Some people have a hard time completing. And I have some other feeling that also with me still stuck sometimes along that line, okay? Knowing that you need to complete, having finished 90%, but don't know how to make it out of that way, don't know how to continue, like finishing a book, getting over a relationship, and so on. And some people are really bad in changing, and all of those might sound similar along that line. Changing or maintaining, really bad in doing it. They're good in starting, but don't know how to maintain something ongoingly creating the routine do under to ultimately get into the success mode into understanding a routine is required to make things happen once you become aware of those three forces working within yourself you need to purposefully put yourself into that spot and say to yourself hey i need to finish what does it take me to finish now how much freer can i be to finish for example or a sue for you to say suddenly saying, I don't want to complete it anymore. It has moved on. Time to let go and do something else. Starting something else, but become aware that you're not falling into the same trap again of not being able to complete something. Or knowing you're starting too many projects, too many things in your life, and you're not able to even get started. You never really get started. You're just taking notes like I was describing it earlier, just starting, starting, starting and moving on, starting, 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 moving on and never really get starting overall. Never get it gets like a big one, just finding the pieces that I believed in my life. I need to learn on video marketing. I need to learn on scripting. I need to learn on video editing. I need to learn on setting the camera correctly. I need to learn everything. And it's a never-ending story because times around the world change too fast. The world is changing too fast. So it's, it's okay to get started sometimes not being perfect and get moving on. So that is the main topic that I wanted to share with you. I hope I could share something with you because it means to you 
to realize when you are really getting over those prime concerns, those challenges within yourself of letting go. Hey, if Linda would, Sean, you ask Linda to join, I'm saying something to Linda. If she listens into this one, she will also realize some of those forces are happening within herself that she can't get out of certain issues or couldn't get out of certain issues in her life. And NLP helps you then through limiting beliefs, through past integration, or through the linguistic part of prime concerns to really, really, really make it happen, to get over that and break up and feel good and feel relieved and knowing that your energy forces within yourself are balanced out, that you don't know how to get started, or if not, you know what to do. And you know how to maintain certain stuff. And if not, you know what to do. And if you don't know how to complete certain stuff, you know what to do. It is about the awareness you need to create by yourself. And that sometimes comes from other areas in our life as well. So let, give, let me give you one more point that I want to share with you. Where is it happening in my life? That I maintain. I have a hard time sometimes maintaining the same things over and over again for a longer period of time. I want to move on. And again, to have that, make that happen is to me, for example, my morning or evening runs to get the energy into my body that I know I have a ton of energy. And then simply sitting down and accessing what I do have right now and finding joy around that level of what I'm doing, firing my anchors, putting myself into a position of liking what I'm doing right now. And sometimes realizing I'm not moving on and stopping certain stuff for a day or two before I get back onto something. So that is what I want to share with you. So... <coughs> I wanted to share this one with you. Okay, um, no, I'm not talking about this one right now, but I want to share with, I want you to ask again, of course, along that line, the last slide that I want to share with you, like and share this videos, like us, come over to the NLP Master Academy, because the NLP Master Academy is what I'm promoting more and more, where people can join in. I want to create a real good uh, group which is very active, starting, I have my challenges in maintaining my flow in there, but I know it's getting started, okay? So come over to the NLP Master Academy Pass, like our uh, YouTube channel, like us on Pinterest, uh, connect to us on Asia Mind Dynamics within uh, LinkedIn, uh, Google Plus is stopping soon, NLP in Asia, Twitter, I'm not doing that much. Instagram, please like us as well. Follow us on Instagram. It would be lovely if I would see you there. And along that line, yay, I see some of you tomorrow. I hope to see the rest of you sooner or later as well. And, and, and I hope I could share something with you regarding the prime directives because it's powerful. It's always about awareness within yourself and when you become aware of everything within yourself, you start to create your life. That's me for today, guys, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Create your life, Sean. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye. Create your life.